this short video is to show you some of the capabilities of the JavaScript console and developer tools in Chrome. So I have uh, one of our sample web pages from class open. Um, in the top right hand corner here there is a menu item. You can see there's three bars across. The green indicates there's an update for this. I don't need to worry about that right now. If I go down here to the tools menu, oh, it's just a little bit off the screen. Inside the tools menu there is um, a bunch of other items. Down near the bottom there's two that we want to look at. Developer tools and JavaScript console. The developer tools will bring up these tools down at the bottom. A little X here for closing. Another way to bring this up is I can right click on any element on the page and go to inspect element. I'll do it so you can see it on the screen here. There we go. Inspect element. If I click on that, brings up the same set of tools. These are the Chrome developer tools. First tab here, elements, shows me the HTML for the page. If I wanted to click and jump to one of the other files, so let's say inside the head, if there was a CSS file, for example, I can click and jump over to that. That's the CSS file. I can go back to elements here. This is the HTML. Uh, as I click on various elements, you'll notice across the bottom, HTML, body, div wrapper, section sidebar, P. This lets me move through the various elements on the page. If I shrink this down a little bit, you can see you can always adjust the size of it. As I move through here, it will highlight the element that I'm on. If I click on elements here, it also highlights in the page. So you can see that uh, right now, this element up here, this is the one I've got my mouse over, and it tells me nav.nav .nav is 960px by 49px. So the nav element with the class name nav is 960 pixels wide and 49 pixels high. This is a great way that you can go through and look for issues and problems with your CSS. So for example, if I was looking at this and said, oh, I was expecting that to be 900 pixels wide, what's going on here? When I click on this, over on the side, we have the CSS, which is attached to that element. This is all the CSS being applied to that element. Down at the bottom here, it shows me the content size, how much padding, border, margin is being applied. I don't see any of that on here. I only see blue, which means it's only content. There's no padding, no border, no margin on other elements. So if I jump to this uh, first paragraph here, you can see up in the web page that there is some blue and some green. The green is the padding, as you can tell by the diagram down here. All right, so jumping back up to the CSS for the nav element. The class name nav has that style applied to it. Asterisk, meaning all elements, the universal selector. Padding margin zero. So that's the default that I set in the CSS file for everything. The nav tag is display block. And these are properties that were set on the body tag, which have been inherited by our nav. So the font size and font family. And you've also got here links that show where it came from, which file and which line number. If you want to change things, I can click on those and you can see by default, <coughs> pardon me, the padding and margin have been set to zero. I have deselected those, so those styles are no longer being applied. Now it is the default from the browser that's being applied to the nav element. You can see it created a whole bunch more space scroll this down a little bit just so we can see the whole nav menu. There we go. And when I mouse over it. Now the blue content area is 960 by 98 pixels high. There is a whole bunch more space above and below that. You'll notice there's no color there. So it's actually other elements that are pushing it away from them. There's space being created by other elements above and below. And then inside the nav, there's the UL. So the UL is actually extending outside 
So that's what's filling up the space. List items. There's the size of them. The anchor inside. You can see the anchor has green. It's got some padding around the content area. Then the list item takes up the, the whole space. And then all the list items combined is there. Plus, there's a little bit of padding and margin on the UL. And then the nav bar occupies that whole space. OK, so that's the Elements tab. You can use that. We can go in here. We can actually change content. If you double click, I can go in, do something like that. Changes the content here. We can turn things on or off inside of here, make things move around, or click inside and type something new. Uh, border, one pixel, solid red. There we go. So there's red borders put on these things now. All right, so that's the elements and the CSS tab here. Network, uh, right now there's nothing showing in here, but if I were to refresh the page, here we go. Here are all of the requests that are being made by the browser. So the browser is looking for an HTML file, the Google CSS file, my main CSS, and this one, this detector JS is being put in by Chrome itself. Um, oh, sorry, no, that's coming from Google. That's the detector to figure out which kind of CSS uh, font to apply. Status. 200 means everything's fine. 304 means it's a cached copy. This one failed. If I run this again, no, it still failed. Possibly the detector script is telling me that I've already got this, so that's why it's not uh, doing anything here. Uh, oh, no, that's my network connection has failed. That's why that's coming up has failed. Sources. This is pretty much the same as what was on the elements. I could click on a link there to load the CSS file. Here I can load any of the files I want. I click on the play button. Here's the files. I can click on them to load a file if I want to just view the, the file in its entirety. Console lets me test JavaScript things. So I can write out single lines of JavaScript. Document, query selector, uh, dot nav. That's the nav element on the page. Dot style dot background color equals red. That's the output. That's what comes back from this. Anyway, other console. Okay, we can't do console log. We're in the console. Uh, equals three plus four. There we go, 3 plus 4, 7. You can write little lines of JavaScript, uh, just if you want to test something quickly. So elements, network, console, those are the three tabs that you're going to be using the most. Um, down here, if you ever want to detach this DevTools from the window and have it sitting beside it, you can click on this icon to do that. Um, right here. The, uh, this is the show console, so you can show console and something else that you're working on at the same time. Breadcrumb navigation I mentioned earlier. This is a way that you can quickly drive down from the HTML tag all the way to the bottom. And that's about it. Those are the main tools that we're going to be using through this uh, course and with JavaScript developer tools, at least for the time being.